What's good, y'all? If y'all tapped in, y'all already know who I am. If not, my name is Caleb Jarrell. And as y'all probably can see, I don't know if y'all can really tell, but it's actually 7 a.m. I woke up at 5 a.m. Actually, I've been up since like 3 a.m. And did my devotion, different things like that. Focused on building my spiritual and everything. Then I went to the gym, did my cardio and legs, and now I'm back and I'm making videos. And then later on today, I got my clients that I got to take care of. So, bro, that's what it's all about. Like waking up every day and chasing your goals, chasing your dreams and the tasks that you need to get done. Um, you need to focus on what it is that you need to do throughout your day. So I would say, bro, you got to plan certain things ahead of time. You got to plan the night before what you need to get to get done the next day. You gotta plan the week before what you're trying to get done the next month, you feel me? You gotta have certain goals that you're working towards. That's the way that you continue to have momentum. That's the way that you continue to stay focused on what it is that you need to do in your life, you feel me? But most of all, bro, what I wanna talk about is you gotta learn from your mistakes. And not only learn from your mistakes, but learn from other people's mistakes, you feel me? Um, it's a lot that I've dodged throughout my life just by being observant, just by watching other people that I grew up around, just by watching other people in my environment. And I, the word I would use is being divergent, being different, not being afraid to be different and go against the grain, you feel me? Because a lot of times, bro, you can learn from decisions and habits that other people make. People ask me why I don't smoke or why I don't drink and different things like that, why I don't party. And I'm not knocking nobody to do nothing like that, but it's not for me. I don't see value in it anymore. Um, so with that being said, like, yeah, I have indulged in those type of things, but like I said, I'm not knocking nobody, but I don't have value in it no more. I don't see the value in it no more. It's not a part of the person I want to become and the person that I'm becoming because as y'all know, if y'all didn't see my channel before, bro, I focus on self-improving every day. That's what it's about. Focusing on doing the task that you need to do to reach the goal that you're trying to get to, you feel me? So with that being said, like, you got to figure out what it is that you want in life. Make that your goal. Make those goals your, your priority. But also focus on what you got to do today. Focus on what you need to get done and stop focusing on what everybody else got going on. Stop focusing on what the next man doing, you feel me? If the people in your circle not on the same type of thing or not in the same type of mentality, headspace, sometimes, bro, you gotta remove yourself from that in order to get around the right people, in order to get around the right things. And that's something that I had to learn growing up, man. There's no love lost for the people that I've been cool with and I'm still cool with to this day, but it's just like, a lot of times, certain things that other people do can hinder you from continuing to grow as a person. So, therefore, people have to understand that you just outgrow people sometimes. And that's fine. And you can't take that to heart. Because, like I said, you can still be cool with these people, but it's like kicking it with them all the time. Because it's people I used to kick it with back then is still doing the same thing. And that's not where I'm at. I'm not at a place where I like to be stagnant. I'm not at a place where I like to be complacent. I like to continue to grow. I like to continue to evolve as a person. So I need people around me that's going to help me stay focused on that, help me to have my sight on that. I don't need people around me that are cool with me doing certain things that's going to be detrimental to me or them. You feel me? I need people around me that's going to check me and be like, nah, bro, you tripping. Like, you can do better in this area. Shout out to Kent Brown, you feel me? One of my, I call him my OG, but like we relate on a whole lot. And we can really just go kick it and have good conversation and presence, you feel me? Out over dinner. But I'm bringing him up because he told me the other day, you feel me? We was out eating and he was like, you ain't even really tapped in on the whole videos and making your videos for YouTube and everything like that. He was like, what you got is good, but you ain't really tapped into it. How did I take it? I took it as motivation. I took it as like, okay, I gotta go harder. I took it as I need to lock in and do better because he wanna see me do good and you can feel that genuine energy. Them are the type of people that you wanna keep around. Those are the type of people that you want to have in your circle, your inner circle, because your circle of influence matters. So the way that he give me advice, I also, I hope that I give him the advice the same way. I hope that I help him have 
a certain perspective the same way. You need people around you that give you a different perspective. And sometimes the perspective is going to be positive. Sometimes the perspective is going to be something that may make you feel negative. But it be facts. That's the thing. A lot of y'all, bro, y'all be tapped into y'all feelings a little bit too much. And you got to, like, toughen up a little bit and be able to take criticism. You got to toughen up a little bit and be able to take being told that you're wrong or that you should do better and can do better in the area. But you also got to be able to discern who it's coming from. You also have to be able to know, like, okay, this is a person that want to see me do good and they have the best interest for me. So I can take it and use that as fuel and fire to apply to my life. But sometimes, bro, you come across people that would be genuine. And then you have to discern people that's also jealous or envious. And that was something that was hard for me to, like, kind of understand. Because a lot of times, bro, there can be people that's closest to you. And you don't even recognize it. And that's why it's so dangerous. Because they're actually that close to you. And those would be the people that can off you. Those be the people that can set you up in different type of things like that. So you have to be able to discern that. It could just be people that put you in a negative mindset. You feel me? And sometimes you got to check yourself because you don't want to be that person for somebody else. And you can't always look at people like they're the problem. Sometimes you actually the problem. But you have to understand that. You have to look in the mirror and be like, okay, I can do better. Then you have to actually like apply trying to be better. You can't just accept certain things that go on sometimes bro you go through life and certain things and you wondering why like i'm going through certain mental battles or you wondering why you got anxiety or you wondering why you worrying all the time it's because you sit there and accept it it's because you don't speak back to it you don't speak life into yourself you have to become that person for yourself you can't go to other people for that all the time because sometimes you're the only person that you got to go to sometimes it's just you and god but you have to lock in and become that person for yourself to be able to get out of those situations and circumstances that you're going through. You feel me? So, a lot of times, bro, you can discern and get around people and recognize, okay, this is a positive person for my life or this is a negative person for my life. If it's a negative person, then you can love them from a distance, but you got to keep your distance, you feel me? Because sometimes they'll come into your life and mess up what you got going on. Sometimes they'll come into your life and hinder you from continuing to grow, continuing to build on what you already have as a foundation. You need people that's going to help you continue to build off your foundation. People that's going to help you to continue to become the person that you need to be and that you're striving to be. You feel me? So, you got to learn from your mistakes. You got to learn from other people's mistakes. I already know, like, bro, it's people in my life that I grew up with. Some people crashing out. Some of them on drugs. Some of them, you feel me, not doing nothing with their life. And it's because they, they accepted the environment that they grew up in. They accepted what they saw growing up. They accepted what they see. You feel me? You gotta see more for yourself. You can see more for yourself. But what is it gonna take? It's gonna take for you to get around the right people. It's gonna take for you to start seeking and applying yourself to more positive things, to more positive mindsets, to people that's doing more positive things. And then once you peep, once you peep, and you see the people that's doing more positive things, and you peep, okay, are they getting up and going to the gym early? Dang, you'll get around somebody and recognize the diet that they own. And you wonder why, like, certain people are attracted to them. Or you'll wonder why they're successful in certain areas. It's because they work on that stuff. It's because they put in the work. You think when you put in the work, you don't attract better? You think when you work longer hours, you don't make more money? You should. You feel me? So... The more you do and the more consistent you are with it, the better you become, the better you attract. Bro, I'm 21. I say this all the time. I'm 21 years old, but it's like, I feel like I've learned so much. And sometimes it can be like overwhelming because I try to apply everything that I'm learning at one point. 
But what you have to do is compartmentalize, you feel me? You have to break certain goals up and be focused on what I need to do in this time. You have to be focused on what I need to be doing now. So what I don't even focus on having a yearly goal right now. I focus on breaking my junk up in like three months, you feel me? So in the three months, what am I doing? I take two to three of the biggest goals that I'm trying to focus on in my life and I break them down to, okay, this is a goal that I have. Let me break it down on what I need to be doing daily. So I want to build my finances more. I want to sit on some more money. I want to be able to have money to invest in. You feel me? I'm a business owner. So it's me and my business. I don't get paid weekly. I don't get paid. I mean, I don't get paid every two weeks. I don't get a normal paycheck. You feel me? I don't get none of that. Everything is based off what I do when I show up for work. So if I don't go to work, I don't make money. I don't get PTO. I don't get none of that. So I got to supply myself. I got to work for myself, but I also got to rely on God. You feel me? But I got to do what I need to do so I can uphold what God give you, what God give me. You feel me? So if I want to focus more on my finances, what do I need to do? Work hours. Be available for people. Be available for my clients. But when I'm making my money, I can't just go trick it off. I got to sit down. How often do you sit down and look at your finances? How often do you sit down and look and see where your money is going? How often do you go to the gym and work on your body? How often do you read books? When is the last time you bought a book? You feel me? Because you have to continue to grow. You have to continue to feed your mind. You have to continue to feed your body. I recognized I was working out and going to the gym, but it wasn't no good because if I'm working out good, but I'm not eating enough, I don't see the progress that I want to see. So what do I do? I have to increase my protein intake. I have to increase what I'm eating. I have to increase some of my calories to get to the maintenance goal. But as you grow, if you don't continue to grow and fill yourself with the fire and fill yourself with the positive things, with the positive people, how do you expect to maintain the certain things that you attract? How do you expect to maintain certain things that you go through? How do you expect to maintain a positive mindset in circumstances that don't look too bright right now? You feel me? That's where your feel come from. And then it come from God, too. So you got to lock in with you and God. You got to lock in with you, God, and the positive things and people around you and go to those things. Stop going to certain things that are fleeting. Having sex with certain females, you feel me? Every female, you feel me? It don't do nothing, it's fleeting. I had to learn that. Drinking and smoking is fleeting. It's for the moment. That's what fleeting is, it's for the moment. So it's not gonna last. But you wanna be durable. So to be durable, bro, you gotta continue to work. You gotta continue to improve. And the way you improve is by peeping what's going on in your life and learning from your mistakes, but also other people's mistakes. And then once you get the knowledge, you apply the knowledge to become better and do better.